Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brett Raymer from the Hit Show Tank, and you need to watch my guys Jack and Dan. Those guys are off the charts, and you guys will enjoy what those guys bring to the table. Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today we're putting on my second aqua bridge. It's gigantic! Okay, so, hold that one up next to the other one, just so they can kind of see. Size-wise, this one is way bigger, right? Yeah. So we went over how we did this. We basically took a hurricane, which is a big candle holder type of thing, and we siliconed it between two of these elbows. It was relatively simple to do. We just took some good old fashioned silicone, got some right here. There's all different kinds you can use. Put some silicone in there, put some silicone in there, put it together, let it dry. Super easy to do. And then we showed <clears throat> how we did the bridge, right dude? Yes. Took, took some Lexan, put it across, put it up here, put some things so the guys couldn't come off. And we showed how we did the under gravel filter. And we showed how we took the old tank and put the two new tanks here. Well, this is one that we had over there and a new one there. And then we also showed how we did the track lighting up top. And then we showed how we did the background lights, which we'll show you again in a minute. But basically, we made the new one. Here, take this over here. I'm gonna kind of show them a couple of tricks I did here. So the difference with this one is, and I'll put a link in the description down below, they don't make hurricanes this big, and the ones that they do are quite thin, so they can't support things. They're not this thick. So we took a vase, and we burned the end off. We did a little video, it'll be in the description. All of the videos that have to do with Jack's, you know, bridge tank system here will all be in the description of how we kind of did this in steps. But basically, this is, a, this is, we made a hurricane out of a vase by burning the end off, lighting on fire, it cracked, and so on and so forth. The thing that was more challenging about this is, of course, you can't fit a tube all the way down inside here. You know, the handle would hit. You definitely can't fit it like this. So what we had to do is, actually, caulk comes in a small little tube like this, which a lot of people are not aware of. And you can get it for like a dollar or two. It's really super cheap, and it comes in these little tubes. This is... Actually, Mickey's toothpaste, mm -hmm. Chinese toothpaste, but which is why, why it looks that way. But the thing is, is, is um, I threw it away by mistake. But it's almost exactly like this, except it has a little pointy spot on it, just like a little silicone thing would. Um, what I did is I used a lot of that to make this bridge, so I had some left over. I put silicone all around these guys, shoved them in. Now, I did one side at a time. I was able to reach my arm up inside there and squirt that silicone to get a nice seal around the edge here. However, I couldn't then reach through the elbow to get to the other side. So this side, what I did is I took one of these little guys, and again, this is toothpaste, but it's literally exactly the same size as this except silicone. And I turned it around backwards, put my hand up in it like so, and squirted it as I turned it around. And I basically just worked my way around, all the way around the outside, until I had that nice seal there. So now, we've got a great seal at the bottom and a great seal at the top, so there won't be any water in here at all, and it's going to look really cool, and we're excited about it. So this guy is going to go right here, and what we're going to do is, we're going to show you how to fill these guys up and a little bit more about these guys. All right, so some people had some questions about the bridges and kind of how the whole vacuum system works. And some specific questions that came, came uh, across were, you know, what happens here if the water level uh, reaches the level of the bridge? And that's actually exactly where this is right now. If you let your tank evaporate, you don't top it off, what will happen if you have a bridge like this, you have to remember it's under a vacuum. We're going to show you how to do that again. Basically, you take a tube up there, you stick it in there, and you suck the air out of it. Well, in this case, if the water were to reach this, then people would say, oh, well, wouldn't you lose the vacuum? And all the water would dump out of the bridge here, and then it would, you know, go into the tank. Well, first of all, this is only about a half gallon of water. It's not that much water. Secondly, as you lose a vacuum on the tank, point here at the uh, bridge, kiddo, so they can see, if... If air goes up into this bridge, what's going to happen here is, is you're going to lose some vacuum and the bridge is going to go down, but some of this water is then going to dump into the tank, which ultimately then is going to 
raise the water up, which is then going to meet the level again. So it's not ever going to all dump out at one time. The only thing that's going to happen is, is it's going to go out and then the vacuum is going to seal again. And then it's go out and then the vacuum is going to seal again. So if you look here at this bridge, you'll notice that there is some air gone because very slowly that has happened. And as more evaporates, it'll go down a little bit at a time. So the thing is, is it doesn't happen suddenly. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that for people because a lot of people were like, they didn't understand how that worked. Um, I hope that that explains it. If you still have questions about it, definitely put it in the comments. We'll, we'll explain more. Um, but now we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to add a little water to bring the level up because obviously it has to be um, you know, quite a bit higher than the bridge, just like this one over here, the new one, because as we suck the water or the air out of the tube, it's going to take the water down from the tank. So we're going to add some water to the system and then put a tube up in there, suck the water out, and connect all three of these tanks finally. So us old school guys, when we used to siphon stuff, we just had a tube and we suck the fish water out. We ain't afraid of fish water, right? Jack's not down with that. He's got all fancy devices. So I always keep a little cup around to spit the fish water in if that happens. Basically what you do is you take this tube and you just reach inside the tank. Always have a towel with you too. Because, you know, reach inside the tank. You're going to put the tube up inside of the bridge and you're going to suck the air out. Now again, we did fill this up so, you know, it's nice and full. But we want to just get a little bit of this extra air out because some did evaporate. So we're going to do that real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and do the new bridge. You can see the new bridge here already steamed up because of this warm water. And this is just kind of rocking on here. It's just sitting on here. But once you suck the air out of it, it becomes a vacuum. You'll see this one here is very sturdy. It doesn't move very much at all because the weight just holds it down. Okay, so all you really have to do is come on over here so you can see the inside the bridge. You just take the tube and you shove it up in there. As you can see, you try to get it to, you know, all the way to the top. Now, I want to show you something here. I'm holding the end of this, okay? Take a look at inside the bridge here. Now, as I let go of my thumb, see how that goes down right away? Because that's under a vacuum. So, I'm going to put this on my mouth, and I'm going to suck the air out of there. Okay? Now, as soon as that starts to lose the air, I'm going to stop so I don't end up with fish water in my mouth, as Jack would say. So, this has some water in it, so I'm going to basically just pull that tube out. And I'm just going to hold it up. And I'm going to let it go and dump all that water into the tank, see? Try to get it up high. So, there you go. So, that was pretty easy. Um, this big one's going to be a little harder, but so you can see in here now... There's hardly any air in there at all, okay? It's all full of water. The turtles and fish can go back and forth. If you look down right here, you can see that's totally submerged. If you look at this one here, this one is too. So that side's good to go. So now we're going to do this side. Look, he's checking out the new bridge. You want to see what's going on? Yeah, look at him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Say hi to Michelangelo. He always checks out the turtles. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go on the new bridge. He loves it. Okay, so here's what happens. You just take this tube here, and you just got to kind of make sure you hold the end. And you fish it up in there. You got to kind of hold it because it's, again, it's not going to have any weight. Push it up inside. And there you go. So it's right there in the inside. I'm going to make sure this is kind of where I want it to be, and we're going to start taking the water out. See how it's filling? I just got my thumb over it because I'm taking a break, but about every breath or so, it's going to go up a couple more inches, and then it's going to start to be heavier, and we're going to get it all full. Okay, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out, same thing again, just gonna kinda hold it up and empty the water out. So it doesn't, you know, it really only takes a couple minutes. And again, you really only have to do this every now and then if you get evaporation or if you wanna clean them or whatever. We're gonna actually show you how we clean these. It's pretty simple. Guess what we use? 
a dryer vent brush. It's pretty pretty cool. But anyway, so what we're doing here with this one a little bit different is this one, as you can see here, it goes inside the cup. So this one is sitting on the edge of the PVC. This one, however, we had to we had to alter this PVC, put it inside. So I didn't want it sitting on the joints. So I have it sitting right on the glass, right on the edge of the glass. Again, this is very thick glass. So I'm going to center it here. It's pretty good. It does move. You're talking about the joints with between the glass. Yeah, I didn't want it to be like sitting on the silicone, pressing on the seal. Very, very good question, buddy. So just kind of centering that as you can see it does move a little but not very much and with the track lighting this is a cool part too we can just kind of move it so i want it we're about right in the center so just going to kind of slide that down a little bit and there we go now it's like right in the center now the bridge is lit up so we got this tank lit up we got this bridge lit up we got this big tank with two lights by the bridge this bridge lit up and that tank lit up okay so the cool part is now now here's the question. We have never filled this with water yet. This is the first time we're actually doing it. So a lot of people would say, hey, how do you know if something like this leaks or what do you do if it leaks? Well, first of all, it shouldn't leak. Um, as you can see, there's, there's really no water getting over here at all. That's all air because I put this ring around there by reaching up inside. So the water should just stay right here and shouldn't go over here at all. However, because this is under a vacuum, if a little leak or a little tiny air leak it's in there what would happen is is it would actually suck the air through so it wouldn't leak out water it would suck the air through this would go down and it would fill the tank um but it probably wouldn't happen very fast but anyway so the, the the bridge itself wouldn't leak the water would just pour into the tanks you know what i mean so this one looks like it's doing pretty good though we're going to keep an eye on it for a couple days um, chances are there's probably going to be some fish and turtles going in there right away. The cool part about doing this, once again, if you, if you look down here, the reason we did this is we have different levels of dressers and stuff here. And I didn't even have to use the spit cup, man. I was pretty good about it. It's pretty cool. All right, so that was fast. This dude jumped in there, came right over here right away. What's up, buddy? You're the first one in the new tank, man. You're like the Neil Armstrong of this tank. So again, we just kind of have some kind of rooted, uh, you know, fake root kind of things in here. We're going to be adding some more stuff, possibly some plants and things. We're going to definitely be doing more scaping in that. But we just kind of wanted to uh, get the bridge up there first, finish that and all the lights and stuff. So um, we kind of left this up for about a half an hour. Doesn't seem like it's leaking. Again, immediately, if you start to see more air in the tube, you'll know it's leaking. Now, some may get in there a little bit. So, for instance, you know, if the filter bubbles kind of venture over here, they may come down and stuff in it. But, honestly, it really doesn't happen very often. And all you got to do is stick the tube up in there and redo it again. So, for the most part, we've got the top lights done. We've got the background lights done. We've got the filters done. The heater's done. Everything's pretty much good to go. we got the bridges all done. And it's really neat. What an awesome wall, dude. How do you dig it? How do you like it? I think it's really nice, and I think that the time we've taken on it is better than I thought it would be. A lot better. You mean the time that you thought it would take less time, or you thought it would take more time? I Like, the time we put into it, I didn't think it would turn out this well. Oh, right, right, right. Like, when we first had the idea, you didn't have this in your in your mind. Right. Well, Dad's got weird imagination, and I'm like... You know this will be cool and you're like you kind of didn't picture it but now you're now that it's all together you're like wow kind of came out awesome so that's cool man isn't it yeah so the cool part is is you've got the three different level dressers you've got three different level tanks but they're all connected by the bridges your fish and turtles can go through them and you've got 80 gallons now a 20 a 40 and an and another 20 and uh all your guys and your room things in between there and all that so we're going to turn off the lights so you guys can see the background lights one more time here um, in case you didn't see that video. All right, now this is Jack's favorite part, isn't it? Yes. All right, go ahead and hit that uh, switch there. You got a remote. Make sure it's the right part. I can't see. There we go. Isn't that cool? Oh, the camera didn't want to focus on it. So we got that on a little remote. Those are the background lights. We basically painted the back white. We took some... Um, Christmas lights, some blue LED Christmas lights. 
and put them on the backs of the tanks. And this one was actually a little bit of a different color, but it, it, we kind of like it because it looks a little different, like maybe the sun setting or something kind of weird thing there, maybe the moon. So these are really kind of blue. That one's got a little bit of a green in it in the middle, but really neat, huh? It's almost hard to, to get them all in. They take up the whole wall. Isn't that cool though? Yeah. So you got all those tanks going all the way across, all connected. And you got the background lights. All right, let's turn the big lights back on real quick. Just go ahead and click the big lights. Cool. What is that? So <laughs> one of the fish jumped or something. So basically, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much all done. We're going to um, be doing updates on it as we continue to do other things and everything like that. This is a real cool thing Jack wanted to show, too. That's the old turtle display we got somewhere that lights up. That's pretty cool, huh? I got it for my birthday. Here, turn the, turn the light off again so you can see. There you go. We've got the, yeah, the turtles lit up over the lit up tanks. Isn't that cool? I really kind of dig how that came out being actually a different color. I didn't like it at first, but kind of does look like you said, like a little moonlight or something different. So turn on the big light again, man. Yeah, I mean, basically it's all done, guys. For the most part, we're going to be doing some close-ups. We're going to be doing some feeding videos. We're going to be showing you guys a little bit more about um, what's in this tank. We're, we're kind of playing musical tanks, musical aquariums right now. So some of the... You know, some of the guys from some of the other tanks are going to be coming over here and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's what it looks like without the background lights on, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to be going over some of the guys in here. So, what do they want to do if they don't want to miss videos coming up? They want to make sure they subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications if who's, you want to see our next videos. Yeah, who's got the bell, man? Voltron. Voltron's got the bell today. Bam, hit it. All right. And um, in the description, again, will be... Um, all of the videos in chronological order of how we made this whole tank and everything, right? Yes. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You got somebody new on your wall of fame there, huh? Yeah. Uh, messy kids, right? Yeah, they sent us a card. Literally. Yeah, they're from London, England. And they sent a Christmas card to Jack and everything. Really, really cool. And um, if you want to be up on Jack's wall of fame, you can see there's people getting up there. Then... Uh, Hit me down in the comments. Look, it's going all the way up here. We're going to fill up that whole back area and everything. Uh, really nice guys. We give a shout out to Messy Kids. They travel. They do all kind of fun stuff there. Uh, all kind of family stuff and you know, a lot of traveling and vacations we and fun four, stuff. We have 14 stickers. 14 stuff right now, yeah. So if you want to be up on Jack's Wall of Fame, hit me up in the comments. I'll send you my old email there. Dad's got an old AOL account, doesn't he? Yeah, good old. <laughs> and, uh... And uh, we'll uh, we'll get you, uh, give you our address and whatnot, and uh, send us a sticker or a card or something. We'll put you up here on Jack's Wall of Fame. We've got plenty of room. We're going to fill it all in. That way, every time we do an update on Jack's tanks here and Aqua Bridges and that, uh, people will see your see your uh, sticker and your name. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, for sure.